I'm Corey Duke. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from Two Works For You. The president of the Greenwood Arts and Cultural Society is spending his own money to install cameras in the area. This comes after someone poured blue paint on the Black Lives Matter mural in the historic district. Currently, there are no suspects because there weren't cameras pointed at Greenwood Avenue. Neil says he plans to install two cameras immediately and order more within the next week. And Governor Kevin Stitt now recovered from COVID-19 is donating convalescent plasma. He made that donation yesterday in Enid. He says even one donation can save up to four people and urges Oklahomans who beat the virus to help in the fight against it for others. If you've recovered and want to donate, check out KGRH.com. And the Tulsa Health Department reminding parents of the importance of getting your child's routine vaccinations to keep the community as healthy as possible. In a news release, the department says it's only seen a little over a fifth of the patients it saw last year for immunizations between April and June. And for those hoping to cross this off the list before the school year begins, Oklahoma Caring Vans will host immunization clinics for students this week. Today, it'll be in Tulsa at Union 6th and 7th grade center from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. Check out KJRH.com for more times and locations. Now here's meteorologist Clint Boom with a look at your Tuesday forecast. Thank you so much, Corey. Well, we're going to be seeing some showers across portions of the metro throughout the morning hours. I do think we see a break this afternoon. Low 90s, but that heat index could be near 102. Looking at your forecast for the rest of the week, we will see slight chances for morning showers Wednesday, Thursday, heading into Friday. Heat builds back in upper 90s Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Storm chances increase as the cold front moves in Sunday night. Drier air, so Monday you'll feel a lot better for it with, with highs in the upper 80s. And that's a look at some of the top stories today. Stay with Two Works For You for updates throughout the day. I'm Corey Duke, Two Works For You.